Let's go to crude oil. This is a very short time frame right here, very short, extremely short time frame, three sim. We have a five and a three sim. But let me show you the difference in time frames and how you can cherry pick these trades for great accuracy with the system. Now, I do have a new file coming out. The file is going to be released after spring break here. And it's only going to show full retracement trading. Let me show you how full retracement trading. Right now, we're one, two, three, four for four this morning on crude. It's at 7 o'clock this morning. Let me show you what not to take and what to take with this system. So right now, we have a five and a three on our templates. We have this template I already made up for you. We have a five sim and we have a three sim. Rinko. Let me show you what the arrows are on a three sim first and show you how we want to take these trades. We have two moving averages on here. Remember, moving averages, we don't use these for support and resistance. We're using it for a retracement level to look for the arrow to fire. Remember, the basis of the arrow is to put us in a sweet spot in the market. And it shows supply and demand switching hands at that level. So in other words, we want to see an order imbalance at that key arrow when it fires. So we're not trading off moving averages. We're using the moving averages for an area to look for the arrow to fire. What does that mean? We want to look for full retracements. Let's go over today's trading so far. When we got in the room, a lot of you traders trade from 7.30 to 10.30 in the morning. You get enough trades usually from 7.30 to 9. This week, just like today, we're pretty much, a lot of you traders are going to be done in a minute. This is a trade that happened after 8 o'clock. I have two MAs on there. I have a magenta and I have a white MA that's built in. A, a three sim Renko, it's a three sim Renko. A full retracement trade will happen if you come right up to that magenta MA and an arrow fires. Here's one that fired right here. Broke inside of it, retested it. This is an absolutely gorgeous trade that happened at 751. You want to see negative market delta come in, which we did, right below the arrow chart, negative market delta, close red. Once it closes red, open your position up. Your stop loss on all these arrow trades are two ticks above the swing high, no matter what. That's a two ticks above the swing high. That's two ticks above the swing high. Look how none of these trades got stopped out. That's two ticks above the swing high. This is two ticks below the swing low. Okay, now, what I want to see is I want to see these arrows fire here on, on my smaller MA or here on a full retracement on my longer term MA. This one matched up perfect. My 5 and 3 sim both fired at the same time. That matched up perfect. What I don't want to see is this. Here's what the trades you don't want to take. What I don't want to see, even though they work out sometimes, I don't want to see where it closes back inside my smaller MA, my smaller MA, because it has a chance to reach my longer MA on a full retracement. These are trades, if it closes a couple closes inside of the smaller MA, I would avoid. Avoid these trades. Smaller MA, avoid these trades. This didn't have negative market delta, and this didn't have negative market delta. It's positive market delta all the way back up, so you want to take these arrows anyway. But you want to see, even if, the, even if this had negative market delta, which it did, it had negative market delta here and negative market delta here. You do not want to take those trades because you don't know if it can do a full retracement all the way back up to the magenta. You're looking for trades to fire here on the magenta or here on the white MA. You want these arrows to fire here on the white MA or here on the magenta MA for full retracement trading. Now, your best trades on the 3 sim are going to be full retracement trades to the magenta. This is a, you're going to be your best trade. Over here, this is the whole session today. Here is going to be your best trade. This works on all markets. Full retracement trading. Here, full retracement trading all the way to the magenta. Look how fired. Those are going to be your best trades. So it only had three full retracement trades this morning. Here, here, and here after 8 o'clock. After 8 o'clock, that's an 05 sell. You know, it got all the way down into the, uh, what, 60s? So that's almost a $450 trade we had this morning with a very small stop. It's one, two, three, four for four on qualified trades. Now, the trades you don't want to take are the trades that 
Just get back inside of the white MA because you don't know if it's going to go to the magenta. That's going to get you stopped out. Over here, I want to take this trade. You don't want to take the trades that are just closing back inside of the 20 for a couple, I mean the smaller MA for a couple uh, um, levels, a couple bars, because it's going to have a potential stop out. Okay? The full retracement trades are the best though here, here, here. But these are still qualified trades. I take that trade, I take that trade, take that, take that. Avoid, avoid, take it, take it, take it, take it, avoid, take it. And it works the same way on the way up. If I look when the Fed came out yesterday on Fed Minutes, I would take this trade in a heartbeat. I would take this trade in a heartbeat. That's another trade I take in a heartbeat. This won't even show up on the new indicator. This is not a retracement trade. Didn't even come close to touching the, the smaller MA. That's not a trade. That's a trade. This is an avoid. Look at this. Don't touch that with a 10-foot pole. Be smart about it. They didn't have the positive market delta anyway. This, these won't even show up on the new indicator. It's coming out to you. These won't even show up. These won't even show up. But you can see how you can cherry pick your trades, and you do that all day long, all day long. Full retracement trading is here. I want to take these trades. I want to take that trade. I want to take this trade. I want to avoid this closing back inside of the 20, trying to get to the magenta. I'd even, you can even take this if it lines up with positive market delta. But I do not take those trades. Look how your accuracy is uncanny when you do this. Full retracement trading is unbelievable. Look at the full retracement, full retracement, full retracement. Cut the low, cut the low, cut the low, cut the low. You start taking these arrows off a small time frame when it closes just back inside, you're going to get yourself in trouble. Like, for instance, here. See how it's closing back inside? Here's a live trade right now. You see how you're back inside right now on a smaller time frame and the arrow's firing? I would not touch this trade. It's got to either be below the white inch or bar or touching it at your bar or to the magenta. I would not touch this one going live right now. That was a great trade, great trade, great trade, great trade. These are the trades like this over here that's forming right now. What's it going to try to do? Probably going to try to come up and get a full retracement off of what? My longer time frame. So it may come up to my longer time frame here to 75. Now if it fires at 75, right there, the arrow fires off along the time frame, that'd be a great trade. Or if it comes up here, fires at 92, take the trade. Comes up here on 80, fires an arrow, take the trade. Okay? Because longer time frames, guys and gals, like yesterday, they're not going to fire a lot of arrows. See, this is yesterday's move up. They're not going to fire a lot of them. But even the ones on these, you, your best trades are going to be off of coming right down to the smaller MA or to the magenta. But if you get one that fires off the 5 sim and you're at a full retracement on the 3, and this happens all the time. And let me tell you the best trade you're going to see. If I get an arrow like yesterday, and we had a lot of them that matched up yesterday, let's say it fires off of here. And we're at a full retracement on the 3, let's say a 5 fires. And we're at a full retracement on the magenta on the three, or even on the white, that is a great trade to take when they both align together, when the five and three align together. When you get the five and the three aligned together, you have ultimate alignment. You'll see that all the time. But see, this is a trade right now that I would not take. It had a couple closes. One, two, three closes inside of the 20. I don't care if it turns negative market delta. I would not touch that trade because this thing could turn green, go all the way back up, and roll right back over at a full retracement. So you got to take the trades that are on either the 20 or my longer term MA. If you close back inside of this, of this smaller MA, you tend to work your way back up, and that's what we're going to be careful on. Okay? That's how we like to uh, how we like to match them up.